I can tell. It looks like all three towers have been successfully taken care of. The evacuation is now going much more quickly, thanks to the improved environmental conditions. Most of the soldiers have gotten out, but it seems like something happened that I hadn't foreseen. Please, come with me. There's darkness churning inside the Dainichi Mikoshi! Logically speaking, all of Inkanomiya should be back to normal by now. Unfortunately, this place has now become the most dangerous of all. I don't know why this is happening or what to do about it. But what I can tell you is the location of the guy behind all of this. I'm going to have to ask you to confront him and make him reveal his whole plan. How did this happen? I've been observing the flow of the darkness and I've noticed something peculiar. And there was a faint vortex continuously absorbing the darkness. I can only assume that the flow must be triggered by his need for abyssal energy. He's extremely dangerous. Even most bishops would be no match for him. Music to my ears. Thank you. If I have deduced correctly, he should be in the library area right now. Oh, hey. I would say this is a nice surprise, but it's really not that surprising. Look at you, venturing out into the darkness, doggedly fighting your way through just to come and see me. You're the only person I can think of who could actually pull that off. Still, what's with you joining forces with them? Didn't expect that. You're just trying to stall for time with small talk again. Huh. I guess maybe you're not so clued up after all. Uh, look, I understand that seeing me has gotten you a little agitated, but frankly, the fact that you're still so fired up and raring to go after the long journey here is a bit of a problem for me. So, let's burn off that excess energy with a little exercise, huh? Just to calm you down enough to hear me out. Stop, stop! Oh, my life is flashing before my eyes. That woman with the slender pupils... Huh? How do you know about her? Her name, what is it? Huh. She calls herself Sumi. <laughs> that reptilian seems to be doing a pretty good job of human imitation. Makes sense, doesn't it? The Bethysmal Bishops are a highly intelligent and fast-evolving kind. There have been legends about this for over a thousand years now. The Bishop people. Bishop people? Huh. Sounds like the kind of nickname Paimon comes up with all the time. Well, this one comes from an old Enkanomian legend. When the Bethysmal Bishops were defeated, they began evolving to survive. That is to say, they imitated the victors. Eventually, this gave rise to a line of bishops who were indistinguishable from humans, except for their pupils. These were the bishop people. The story goes that they gradually infiltrated in Kanomiya and took over many high-ranking positions. Remind you of anyone? We did hear that Sumi's pupils are vertical. Yep. In good lighting, you can see that Reptile's pupils are thin, vertical lines. That's hard evidence that she's betrayed you right there. But she's been helping us. She is just using you to get revenge on me. I mean, I betrayed them first. I formed an alliance with the bishops. I said I'd plunge all of Enkanomiya into darkness so they could send their elites into the Dainichi Mikoshi and rescue their captive kin. In return, they'd allow the Abyss Order safe passage through their territory and help me rebuild the Three Towers. But... They didn't know that the darkness of the Abyss was a terrible poison to elemental beings. So, they thought you had betrayed them? I mean, I totally did betray them. 
To be fair, it'd be pretty humiliating for the Abyss Order if we unleashed the power of the Abyss on them and they were just frolicking around with no side effects. You are pure evil! Well, here's where we are now. Once she's done with you, she'll use the power of the Dainichi Mikoshi to suppress the Sanga Coralia and create darkness to protect the bishops. They are probably diving down into the depths to rescue their imprisoned companions as we speak. It won't be long before the source of Blood Branch Coral is completely cut off. Mm. Poor Bethismal bishops. But still. If you still want to save Watatsumi Island, you're gonna have to hurry. You can use the mechanism I left behind to guide the light and dispel the darkness in the Dainichi Mikoshi. We don't believe a single word that comes out of your mouth! Oh, come on, guys. Do you honestly have another choice? This is just another fruitless trip to Enkonomiya for me at this point, but no biggie. I'm just a marginal figure in the Order. Unlike those who are falling over themselves to serve our Highness, I'm interested in more inconsequential things. Ooh, yikes, I think I'm all out of time here. I'd better go. I would say, see ya, but I probably won't. Here, I've got a parting gift for you. It's something I picked up at the Dainichi Mikoshi. This looks like part of the same set as the one that Kokomi gave us. Uh, wait, now's not the time for that. Oh, Paimon's so angry, he got a bear again. Can't trust that guy. Even if he sounds like he's making sense. So, let's go back to Tsumi and ask her about all this. Oh no, Tsumi's gone. We couldn't have missed her on the way here. Okay, don't be sad. On the bright side, most of the soldiers have been successfully evacuated. If any bishops did come through here just now, at least no one will have gotten hurt. Even though, just thinking about that guy drives Paimon nuts. It seems we've got no choice but to give what he said a shot. Uh, let's get some light in here. After a careful head count, it seems like the baby bishops aren't here anymore. Guess they got rescued. If the Bethesmal bishops really did come down here, that means that guy was telling the truth. So, Sumi really is a bishop person? But we still haven't seen her anywhere. Where the heck is she? Uh, whatever. Let's head back up. It's Sumi! Uh, what is she doing in front of the Dainichi Mikoshi? <sighs> Since you came back, I'm curious to know. Did our rescue operation succeed? Some baby bishops were rescued before we got there, but the old and weak bishops went back in the water to hide after we defeated the elites. Um, Sumi, are you really a bishop person? I have no intention of explaining anything. Although I can communicate with you, I know all too well that interaction with humans can only end in betrayal. The conflict between our two kinds will go on forever. Before I leave, I'm going to destroy this light. Do not come any closer! And don't even think about trying to sneak up on me. This tower seems to hear my wishes. I just need to think the thought and it will change its brightness. And if I so desire, it will collapse before me. With the cognitive equivalent of a click of the fingers, I could destroy this source of great pain for the bishops. So why... why can't I do it? It 
it's a pendant in the shape of... Are those three entwined snakes? This pendant has been with me for as long as I can remember. Why does it fit with your two pieces? Don't be ridiculous. Are you trying to say that... that I... Paimon doesn't understand. This one is Kokumi's, this one is from the Dainichi Mikoshi, and Sumi's has been with her all along. I grew up with the bishops. My only possessions were this pendant and a few boxes of books. I learned human language and writing from them. But not long after that, Enkonomiya was left without a single human being. It became completely empty. Only recently did I finally have the chance to make contact with humans and, and learn what the things I'd read in the books really meant. Sumi... There's a saying in your human books that I never understood until right now. People belong where they are born, but creatures belong where they are fed. I am a bishop, not a human. So I'm going back to where I belong. I guess the Dianichi Mikoshi isn't my concern. But we'll be back one day. Sumi is gone. Why did she suddenly change her mind in the end? Right! Kokomi will have definitely anticipated this possibility. That would be why she gave us the pendant fragment in the first place. Everything's resolved here. Let's go back and tell her. Hey, Kokomi! Ah, oh, you're back. The soldiers briefed me about what happened. You successfully worked with a shrine maiden named Tsumi to clear the darkness. But then there was an unexpected change at the Dainichi Mikoshi. Is that so? Yeah, that's right. But after that is where things started to get all kinds of weird. Really? Uh, sorry, Kokomi. Paimon feels kind of bad that we ended up giving your pendant away. There's no need to apologize. As I said, Watatsumi Island has no further need for it. It's a relic from back in the very beginning when the Watatsumi Omikami reorganized the court and reformed Enkanomiya. The three pendants were given to the Dainichi Mikoshi, the Sangonomiya line, and the vassals of Watatsumi. The original intention was that the common folk, the officials, and the divine vassals would all hold each other accountable. But today, only the common folk have flourished while the other two bloodlines have declined. So the pendant is of little use anymore. Funny you should say vassals. One of the soldiers seemed to think that Sumi was one of those. But actually, her vertical pupils meant that she was a reptile. She fooled us all. That's not true. Vassals of Watatsumi typically take on a half-human, half-snake form. Symbolizing that they are the familiars of our serpent god. At least, they used to. Over time, the vassals gradually became identical to humans. All except for the pupils of their eyes. But bishop people and reptilians, they're pure fiction. There is no evidence for their existence anywhere among Sangonomiya's classified documents. Oh, so... Sumi isn't actually a bishop? The Watatsumi Omikami exhausted its power to create Watatsumi Island. And after that, it grew weaker and weaker. No more vassals of Watatsumi were born after that. But the records do mention the very last of the vassals. All our hopes were placed onto her. She was going to be the one who could communicate between the bishops and the humans. But when she was just an infant girl, she and her guardian shrine maiden were attacked by bishops at the border of Enkanomiya. Her whereabouts have been unknown ever since. Most believe she died that day, but some believe she was raised by the bishops. The people of Watatsumi owe a great debt of gratitude to the vassals of Watatsumi. 
Now that the bishops and Watatsumi Islanders no longer have a territorial dispute, I sincerely hope that she will find her way to where she belongs. Wherever that is for her. What a story. Still, now that we know how Blood Branch Coral works, I as Divine Priestess of Sangonomiya may need to think of a new way to counteract the Holy Soil phenomenon. For the time being, however, the issue is resolved. And all thanks to you, Watatsumi Island will be at peace for many decades to come. I can't thank you enough. <laughs> <laughs>